Rhode Island was trying this brand new approach to workforce. They wanted to make sure that the businesses in Rhode Island had the talent that they needed to be competitive, and at the same time that the employees of Rhode Island were getting the targeted training and skill building that they needed in order to be on successful career trajectories. So what we came in to do was help Rhode Island think about how they could use data to better understand and manage their new approach to workforce development. I think the most important thing about getting a job is it is far more than economics. It's about being part of your community and your family and adding value to the society around you. And when you think about it, when you walk into a room of strangers, the first thing you're asked is, hey, what do you do? Rhode Island has an incredible history with manufacturing and started with textiles back with Samuel Slater uh, back in the 1800s. As there's been a transformation for manufacturing here in Rhode Island, uh, the skills required to complete the jobs on a manufacturing work floor have evolved. The historical train and pray way of training and the way educational institutions handled workforce, especially on a manufacturing floor, has proven not to work. So what Real Jobs does is really turn that model on its head and starts with the employers, starts with the employer's skills that they need and open positions that they have. And then we as a network, as a partnership, really put together the trainers and the people that are required to plug people into those open holes. Real Jobs Rhode Island and the Booker Group have partnered together um, with a training organization to give people on the floor that we feel have a lot of potential the extra training that we feel is necessary in order to help them be more beneficial in our organization. I used to be the one who was on the floor stitching or packing and folding. So the training I received uh, included me knowing how to be a great leader to knowing how to work with the groups and the teams, knowing how to get them to work as a team. As a lead now, my responsibility is to know that what's supposed to get done is being done, and any machine that goes down or needs to be worked on, I can help them on and get that back and running. The active contract management that's going on with the Government Performance Lab is really essential for us to understand how effective the programs are that we're running. Active contract management brings together key stakeholders from the government and the provider community to continually and collaboratively use performance data to drive performance. Over the course of the past couple of months, we've been looking at performance data in various components of what Polaris MEP is doing. And so today we're going to reach specifically into the employer data. We'll help our government partners think about how they can show data as trends over time or break it down into more meaningful cohorts or groupings so that it feels really accessible and actionable. And we're left with a percentage that of how much of the industry we've served to date. It's not good enough to use data simply to justify the existence of your program. Uh, the programs exist because uh, we want to help people get jobs. We want to help companies get workers. So data needs to be uh, clear and real time. Moving at the speed of business can be really hard. It feels more like trying to move at the speed of sound. Being able to use data to actually influence um, the decisions that we're making and try to make informed and sound investments in real time is hard. Getting all of that consolidated to say, you know, here, this company wanted this and this other company wanted exactly the same thing and kind of merging them together. The great thing about these meetings is we're taking the ideas and then converting them to action and following through on the action. How do we prioritize these ideas so that we know what piece we're going to bite off before next meeting? If we're going to compete globally, uh, we can't run workforce development programs uh, just based on compliance. Uh, they actually have to perform, and uh, by using data in the way that the Government Performance Lab has been able to help us use it, uh, we're able to actually uh, add value into our state's economy.